talk, talkity talk, talk, talkie, talkie, talk, talk, talk. Hello, beautiful people, and welcome to the talk. We have a great show for you tonight. Um, I'm going to do an interview with Johnny Druick, the comedian. Uh, then we got a sketch of me freaking out about candy, and then Johnny and I are going to play a game of taboo, so you don't want to miss it. But first, I want to talk to you about what's in my weird art file this week. So, number three on my list is Aquarium. In Shortage, Old Street, more specifically. And this place is just disgusting. I've been there once, and once is, is enough. I didn't even go to where the pool was. Like, I, I, I just, like, no. And if you, oh, it's just so trashy. It's so trashy. They got, like, this guy playing bongos, and he's not really, like, he's kind of trashy and disgusting, too. He's like, go here to play my bongos. Nope. No, thank you. I'm gonna leave. Okay. <laughs> Number two, we have... The O bar. Uh, this place, is, this place is kind of great actually because it's so <laughs> trashy. It's so I have never been there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> this is just a like friend. It's the type of place you go to when there's no other places open. Or it's the kind of place you go to when you thought we could just fly around in free ferry. <laughs> so trashy. <laughs> and then like they were playing like Rihanna remixes and it's crap like this and it's all like glamorous, uh, but it's just not. And then, uh, last but not least, I don't know if everyone's gonna agree with me, but if you were recently a fresher in uni in London, you'll probably know this place. It's called Pasha. By Victoria Station, this place is unbelievable. Loaded with the weirdest mixture of creeps that I've ever seen. We'd like come up to you and go like, what? Like, disgusting. Disgu and way too expensive. But I did get into that place for free. Just saying. I but know. anyway, I know. that is my weird art file for this week. The three worst clubs in London. The talk! Please welcome on my next guest, Johnny Druick. Hey, Johnny. How you doing? Hi. Be. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Take a seat, my friend. Hi. So, you do stand-up comedy. Yeah, I do. So, what kind of comedy do you do? Um, what does that mean? It's, it's, in a, it's in a bit of a transition point at the moment. When I started off, it was all quite kind of rigorous and, and storytelling and anecdotal. Ah. Um, and I was sort of playing a character. And now I'm trying to get into more improvising. I'm trying to be in the moment when it's happening and... and pick and feed off what's happening in the audience. So you just make up material as you go along, or...? I kind of, I have a sort of structure, mm. but I try and make it so that it feels natural. Okay. And in the moment. And who, who inspired that? Who are your big, who do you look up to? Um, there's a lot of people doing stuff in London at the moment who I'm really into. There's people, uh, people like Tony Watts and people like Ian Lane and stuff like that. Um, in terms of old comedians going right back, um, I think, People like Lenny Bruce are pretty profound. Lenny Bruce. And then you've got yeah him. And then you've got uh, you know Jerry Seinfeld mm -hmm. even. And then more recently, I think Paul Foot is someone that everyone should check out. He does sort of surreal um, storytelling and um, anecdotes and stuff. Generally like long form comedy, I suppose. Cool. I'm not really a fan of the one liner. Are you the not? Traditional joke. Oh, one I mean they're good. good. They're great. Don't get me wrong. Okay. But um, you know they're they're sort of a flash in the pan. I think you can you can achieve a lot yeah. with stand up. I won't I won't debate it. I won't debate it. You got your own style. Yeah. It's good. It's cool. good. Um so what what is like the hardest part of going up and doing stand up comedy? Oh, it's, it's nerves the, are the biggest deal. It's the ner it's nerves really. It's unbelievable. It feels like jumping off a cliff. Um, <laughs> especially in the f the first couple of times you do it, yeah. you think, I need to go, this is mental. Do you ever do you ever think you're gonna like just completely bomb it? I have done. Um, and the first time you do completely bomb it, yeah. and you realise that you're still alive, and yeah. you get off, yeah. that, that feels powerful. But um, no, ev every time, you're always nervous. Yeah. And a lot of comedians say that, that if, if they didn't get nervous, they, would, they wouldn't want to do it. Because sure. that's the adrenaline, and that's what pays mm -hmm. off. Mm -hmm. and you feel mm -hmm. euphoric afterwards. Yeah. So the minute you get that one, that one joke down, does it just kind of like keep rolling? It does, feel yeah. Good about it, it feels like feedback almost. Yeah. When yeah. you say something... I think stand up's the only art form where you get immediate response mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Like as soon as you do it, you immediately know how well it's gone. Right. And that changes the entire performance because you go, okay, well they liked that and then now how can I say the next bit in a way that works with that and what are those guys doing over there? Yeah. And yeah. You're so engaged the whole time. Um, 
and it's just a really beautiful give and take with mm-hmm. the audience. Yeah, the audience is the, the key. Totally. If they weren't there, it would just be a man standing. Yeah, well, do you, do you ever deal with like the hecklers though? Like, is there ever anybody who's like... There's, there's, there's not been... No one's been aggressive or unkind. Mm. There's been like extreme indifference, mm-hmm. which is fine, and it can be a bit difficult to get over. Do you play on that too though? You can do, but you've got to try and do it. I think you've got to try and do it without being unkind, mm. which is difficult. That is hard, yeah. It's hard when you're trying to improvise, when you're trying yeah, to yeah. get stuff out of the room without going in at someone because I don't think that's a nice thing to do. You can be pretty brutal mm. otherwise, uh, mm. big mistake. It's the easiest way to yeah. make fun of someone. So you're doing shows around London right now? Yeah, well uh, at the moment I'm trying to get around to playing a couple of shows a week which is difficult, it's quite tiring. Yeah. Um, but all, all the best comedians that I know are playing like five shows a week. Yeah. Which is, I think, you, there must be something a little bit wrong with you. But they're not, they're, they're either doing it on, like, they're not doing it on top of their coursework also, because you're doing, you're doing yeah. graphic design here. I think as well, they've got jobs that they hate, so well, that's their one bit of respite. Yeah, is, yeah. Is a little bit of, um, a bit of laughter. Um, but yeah, no, I'm sort of playing, I do Leicester Square every now and then. Lovely little gigs, and I live in South London, so there's some really good ones in South London, uh, and up in Camden as mm. well. It's one of my favourite places, mm. and East as well. So everywhere apart from West London. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's good. It's good. So what's your what's your next show coming up? Uh, next one coming up. The next thing I've got, the next big thing I've got scheduled is the Chortle uh, Student Comedy Awards, which is um, so it's just Chortle is like the uh, sort of governing body of the UK comedy scene. Really. That's great. Cool. Um, and that's just all the universities, and yeah, gonna, so I'm gonna, I'm kind of in training for that. So moment. is it, a, it's a competition? It's a competition, yeah. That's there's cool. A, there's a lot of competitions in all, all around London, um, which is a really strange environment. Yeah. Like competitive laughter. It's sure. A bit, a bit weird. Sure. Cause Cause like, uh, it, how many people usually do it in one night? In one night, I mean, I've done ones in um, in Stockwell near where I live, which was 23 comedians in a night. What? So by the end of it, everyone just wants to go home. Yeah, that's crazy. Everybody's got different styles. I mean, like, that's, that's got to be pretty hard. And it's like three hours as well. Oh, man. So by the end, people don't really want to laugh at Oh, anything. that's nuts. That sounds tough. Mm. Well, I'd, I'd love to come see you and do. on the show. Please yeah. do, yeah. That'd be really cool. Wicked. So you seem like a pretty fun dude. Are you willing to play a game? I'd like to, yeah. That'd be nice. Have you ever played Taboo? I haven't. Okay. But if you explain the rules quickly... Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned for we shall play a round of the talk taboo. Lovely. After after we play this little clip, check it out. <laughs> the king sent his physician to investigate. Who confirmed the story? <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not sure what form his investigation took. Probably just counting the rabbits and going, well, they're all here. <laughs> <laughs> and you promised that. Yeah, yeah, all right then, king. A king. <laughs> 18 rabbits. I like the fact that she went, I'm not going to say 20 rabbits, because that would be implausible. <laughs> and if I say one, no one will give a fuck. I think 18, <laughs> optimum amount of rabbits to give birth to. However, here comes the unexpected twist in the tail. Get ready. The whole thing was later exposed as a fraud. <laughs> that segment we did at the candy store. Hi, I'm Marlena and we're here at Cyber... Cyber... What is it now? It's just the word. It's just I can't. I can't say the word. I actually can't say the word. Well, candy. I, I can't do it, Emma. I can't do it. It's just so much freaking candy. What are you gonna do with her? Okay. Obviously, someone is not in a good mood today. Yes, Marlena. But you have to get your line right. No, Marlena. No, Marlena. Again. No. It's just. It's just one butterfinger, you guys. Yeah. One butterfinger. One thing you have to pay for. I can't afford it. 
Can you stop her? Can you stop her? Seriously? Marlena. Marlena. Seriously? Again? Marlena. No, no, not the butter finger. Not the butter What finger. is she doing? Like, look. Uh, oh my Marlena. god. Marlena. We have to pay for that. Okay. What could it be? The talk. The talk. Okay, I'm here with Johnny and our producer Krishna, and she is our game master for now. And we are going to play this game of taboo, and I'm going to beat your ass. So, should we shake hands before we do it? Yeah, go on. Okay. Brilliant. Made the best. All right. Nice and win. Okay. Okay. Rules are: clue givers may not use any taboo words, including abbreviations and any part of the taboo word. And clue givers may not use sound effects or use gestures to indicate the clue word. Gestures? Am I allowed to use gestures? No, you're not. You cannot act. It's I not an acting use game. Gestures. Yeah. Not a performing game. Not an acting game. Your turn first. Your first. And go. Okay. Come on. Uh, it is a thicker, more intelligent version of a magazine. Uh, a book. Hey. Uh, it is a beverage made with uh, a citron fruit. A mojito? Uh, a beverage? A non-alcoholic beverage Maybe. made with a uh, citron fruit that is yellow. Oh, what? Lemonade? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, the most famous of these is known as Haley's. Can't do gestures. Haley, uh, no. It orbits the earth. At a, a rate, and it has a tail of fire. Oh, uh, a meteor? A, a, a Another word for that. Fuck, what, what is it? Fucking. Ah, also, a branch of electrical goods retailers? Never mind. Oh, uh, bro. Uh, it is what this is. Does this mean he's gonna win if he gets all the cards? It is what this is. It is what this is? What this thing is, what we're doing now. Taboo? Oh, a game? Disqualified, on, disqualified, okay. Right, 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 okay. right. No, no, let me take on next. No, no, no. He goes on. He has, he has time. Uh, another word for a robot. Uh, One that is quite humanoid. Uh, what? Radio, Radiohead song, Paranoid. Android. Yeah. Okay. There's only so three cards. I'd loads more time. Okay, wait, what? So he got in a minute. He got three in yeah, she a minute gets, and a half. She gets the, she gets the amount of time that I got. Just I, get, I get the leftover time? No. Mm. Yeah, I can exactly. Do I can do a minute and, and a half. Well, okay. and your three minutes. No, you got oh. a minute. <laughs> You could have been a half. Oh, you got 90 yeah. seconds as well. That's perfect. Okay, That's cool. So your time starts now. Okay, shit. Um, what? Okay, this is a cartoon that has a bunch of little people in it. They run around. They have little white hats. The Smurfs. Yeah. What? There's anything. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Uh, this is what? Okay, the English version. Oh, you ain't helping her. Uh -uh. Go there. She's keeping. No. She's keeping score now. Yeah. Okay, this yeah. is a huge. <laughs> game that everybody here in England loves. Uh, people get really crazy about it. Hooligans start running around. Football. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, she is very posh. She lives in the most expensive place in London. She, Victoria Beckham. Not well, yes, but no. Uh, her son just got married. I really can't to, think to, about to can't Kate, think Kate who Middleton. could possibly be Prince. the queen in it. Right, right. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> this is me. I am this type of person. Nope, I'll need this one. I didn't say my name. It says me on it. It says me on it. It says if picked by Marlena, then me is the word. So it's disqualified. How am I supposed to read that? Disqualified. Go on, next. Are you American? Bullshit. Well, okay. Okay, this is where we are. Everybody here is. Oh, crap. You are good. You are good. We are in this building. What building is this? St. Martin. Yes. Right. I've been beaten. Wow. And he has been, been beaten by 15 seconds. Well, well, my guessing was so good. Well, well, right. that, you're guessing, you're yeah, guessing well, was very good. But good job. Well played. Good card. Well played, mate. Thank you. Thank you. That Hopefully someone on the next fun. show can beat. She's the champion of Taboo as of now. Boop, you can boop, raise your hands. Well done, mate. Boop, boop. That was fun. Okay. Thank you for watching, everybody. Stay tuned for the next show.
Supers! <laughs> okay.